हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अ क्लास ऑफ मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटिंग आवर टॉपिक इज रेशियो एनालिसिस टुडे इज आवर सेवेंथ लेक्चर दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वी आर डूइंग इंट्रोडक्शन आर देयर फॉर पीएनएल फॉर कंबाइन फॉर बैलेंस शीट आफ्टर दैट वी हैड कंप्लीट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड टू प्लीज चेक द आई बटन एंड बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑल वीडियो लिंक्स आर देयर प्लीज वॉच द टॉपिक विथ लेक्चर वाइज लेक्चर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन then only you can come to know the ratio analysis and how to solve it so today we are going to solve question number 3 so question number 3 says that from the following particular prepare vertical balance sheet first of all we have to prepare vertical balance sheet then we have to calculate the following ratio they are asking for the six ratio that is your balance sheet ratio current ratio quick ratio and all that below that some entries are that the fixed assets then provision for tax all will appear in your vertical balance sheet so first of all we will prepare the vertical balance sheet then we will draw the ratio so let's tick mark the entry first of all fixed assets will appear uh, below the application of fund fixed asset and it is a tangible asset nothing is specified provision for tax is your current liability that is your quick liability in current liability there are two type of liability quick liability as well as non quick liability non quick liability in that only one entry is that that is your bank overdraft remaining other are the quick liability same way in current asset there are two assets quick assets and non quick assets non quick assets only we have two entry as closing stock and prepaid closing stock will appear in current asset as a non quick asset reserve surplus is your liability uh, and it will appear below the heading of reserve surplus only then bank overdraft current liability non quick liability bill receivable is your current assets as well as quick assets cash in and again current asset quick assets creditor current liability quick liability debtor current assets quick assets debenture is your borrowed fund as well as a secured loan we have to specify in borrowed fund whether uh, the loan is taken is secured or unsecured bank loan debentures are secured loan loan from directors loan from family members are unsecured loan the next is preferential capital preferential capital comes under the shareholder fund a uh, separate entry is there in shareholder fund there are two entry share capital and preference share so it will be preference share capital equity share capital will be shareholder fund share capital in share capital we have to add reserve surplus then we will get the equity shareholder fund or net worth or own fund that is required in your ratio that is your proprietor ratio and now uh, first of all we are going to prepare vertical balance sheet starting with your sources of fund that is your liability first is shareholder fund under the shareholder fund first entry will be share capital and it is given as a equity share capital 18 lakh then below share capital we have to write reserve surplus only one entry is that 1 lakh 72000 add this entry we will find and we will get the net worth own fund or equity shareholder fund that is 972000 after that the next entry is preference share capital that is a 4 lakh both we have to add 9 lakh as well as 4 lakh to find out the proprietor fund that is 13 lakh 72000 now the second one first is shareholder fund then the second one is borrowed fund under borrowed fund there are two heading secured loan and unsecured loan in our question only secured loan is that debenture that is 6 lakh we will write 6 lakh over here after adding this 13 and 6 we will get the our total of the liability that is called as total fund available 19 lakh 72000 and it is also called as total capital employed now the second part is your assets uh, in vertical asset is called as application of fund so so fund that means we are taking the fund from the owner or from the outsider 
then after collecting the fund we will apply the fund in our assets in application of fund there are two part fixed asset and working capital the first one is fixed asset directly one entry is there 19 lakh 16000 then working capital under working capital there are two part current assets and current liability both we have to deduct then we will get the balance as a working capital first we will start with current assets and the current asset there are two heading quick and non quick so first of all we will start with quick assets quick assets uh, the many entry like bill receivable cash in hand debtor so we will write this three entry debtor is 70000 bill receivable is 48000 then cash in hand is 80000 after adding this we will get the total of quick asset it is 198 then we will write non quick assets in non quick assets only one entry is that that is a closing stock one like thirty thousand and it is also called as inventories anyhow now we will add quick asset as well as non quick asset to find out the total of current assets so my total of current asset comes to three lakh twenty eight thousand now the second part current liability current assets minus current liability in current liability there are again two heading quick liability and non quick liability quick liability is a provision for tax then creditor there are two quick liability and one non quick liability that is bank overdraft so first of all we will write quick liability there are two liability creditor and provision for tax so we will add this and we will get the total of quick liability that is 240,000. Now the next part is quick liability is over, non-quick liability. Under non-quick liability only one entry is that bank overdraft 32,000. After adding quick and non-quick we will get the total of current liability and it is 272,000, 240 plus 32. Now ultimately we have to deduct current assets with current liability. We will get the working capital 56,000. Our two parties over in application of fund fixed asset as well as working capital. 19 lakh 16 plus 56 as comes to 19 lakh 72,000 and it is your total fund employed or it is called as capital employed. This is the total of assets and our total of liability both are same that means our balance sheet get tally we will proceed with our uh, ratio part we have to calculate six ratio let's begin with uh, ratio part the first of all current ratio so my current ratio is current assets upon current liability please remember the formula by heart the formula current asset total is three lakh twenty eight thousand and current liability total is 2,72,000. So both will will divide and we will get the ratio as 1.21 raised to 1. The second ratio they're asking for liquid ratio. The another name is quick asset. The another name is quick ratio, acid test ratio. There are three names for this. So remember this name also. Now we have to uh, divide quick assets by quick liability. My quick assets total is 198 and my quick liability total is 240. So 198 divided by 240. Your answer comes to 0.825 raised to 1. Now the third ratio they are asking for stock to working capital. That means closing stock upon working capital into 100. We have a closing stock over here is 1 lakh 30 and your working capital is 56 1 lakh 30 divide by 56 into 100 your answer comes to 232.14 percentage my next ratio is proprietary ratio shareholder fund upon total assets shareholder fund means this one and the total of shareholder fund means proprietor fund that is 13 lakh 72 thousand divide by total asset what do you mean by total asset fixed asset plus current asset my fixed asset is 19 lakh 16000 and my current asset is 3 lakh 28 
19, 20, 21, 22 lakh something divided uh, with this 13 lakh 72. So 13 lakh 72 is the total of shareholder fund and the total of asset is 1916 plus 328. It is 22 lakh 44,000. And my answer comes to 61.14 percentage. Fifth ratio is debt equity ratio borrowed fund upon proprietor fund. Borrowed fund that means our debenture 6 lakh and my proprietor fund is 13 lakh 72. So 6 lakh divided by 13 lakh 72. My answer is 0.437 raised to 1. If we are preparing the vertical form and correctly and we are remembering the ratio, then the remaining part is very simple. All you need to do the fast calculation on a calculator. Now the sixth ratio is capital gearing ratio preference share plus debenture upon equity share fund. Preference share is 4 lakh, debenture is 6 lakh and equity share fund that is net worth is 9 lakh 72. Preference is plus debenture 4 lakh plus 6 lakh is 10 lakh and my equity shareholder fund is 9 lakh 72. So my answer comes to 1.03 raised to 1. Remember this vertical format and this ratio then the sum is very simple. Hope so. There will be no doubt in this sum. So definitely we will meet in our next lecture. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. God bless you.